Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about, I'm, I'm super excited about this one because um, I'm finally getting back on into this uh, lady's work, but Where the Line Bleeds by Jesmyn Ward. This is fantastic. Um, first, if you don't, if you haven't seen my best of last year, 2017, or if you haven't seen my review of Sing, Unburied Sing, um, that was my favorite book from last year. Um, Jasmine Ward is a new favorite author of mine. She is terrific. Her writing is amazing. This is the only one of her fiction novels um, that didn't win the National Book Award so far. There's this one in, in order of publication. Uh, Where the Line Bleeds, then Salvage the Bones, then Sing Unburied Sing. She's won the National Book Award for both Salvage the Bones and Sing Unburied Sing. This one, I'm surprised she didn't win for this one, too. I actually like this one more than Sing Unburied Sing. Uh, this tells the story of twins Joshua and Kristoff. Uh, the book opens up, they are just about to graduate from, from high school, and they do graduate, and the story takes off from there. What I was expecting was one of the twins was going to move away, and the other one was going to stay home. It was going to be one of those dynamics, but it, it's not. They both end up staying in the same town, and it is their struggle to decide whether or not they are going to get, or can they actually get real jobs, or are they going to have to take over you know, the drug business from their cousin, or what, what are they going to have to do? Are they going to work on cars? Are they going to... Well, any number of things. Fast food. Is anybody going to call them back? It's a very simple story, but it's also shock, shockingly deceptive in how simple it is because there is so much going on on every single page. The, the writing is lyrical, almost poetry in places. Um, another place this one really, really caught me was the very last chapter. Um, you read this one. I want you to pay close attention to the very last chapter because that chapter is so full of metaphor and allegory and subtext it is amazing in fact if I go back and read the first chapter I'm thinking the first chapter the prologue is the same way and the epilogue is it the epilogue let me check real quick let's make sure no it's just check it's the final chapter so the prologue and the final chapter I think there's more to those chapters than is actually shown on the page. I know the last chapter is like that, um, but have you read it? Um, if you have, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I am de I'm going to move on directly after this one. I'm going into Salvage the Bones, so keep an eye out for that one, and I will put up a playlist series for all of her stuff. There's also the nonfiction book, uh, Me The Men We Reaped. I think it's The Men. It may just be Men We Reaped. Hang on. Let me check just to make sure. Um, Men We Reaped, a memoir. So, um, yeah, I'll be doing that one. I'll probably, I'll probably do that one in order also. It might be before, it might be, I know it's after this one. I'm not sure if it's before Salvage the Bones or not. Anyways, so until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.